mind go crazy yeah. Hey man, so Jay Fly here. I'm with my boy. State your name, gangster. Gremlin. Gremlin. The one and only. The one and only, man. So we at Grim's Bike Repair, man. Check him out on Instagram, all right? And he'll get your bike nice and dialed for you. Hey, there's a price. You understand? I'm not gonna tell you my price, <laughs> but hey, <laughs> there is a price to pay. So hit him up on Instagram. But right now we're gonna show you, I guess, the tools that you need to break down your race bike. So right now, he's taking my part, my bike apart. As you know, I have a project. Um, my bike is getting painted. So first thing he's doing is taking apart the stem. So what? Well, normally, I'll, I'll generally get it up on stand, and I'll normally go back wheel first, get the back wheel, get the chain off. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of start from there. Go front wheel, and then because you don't want to just start taking forks off because you got worried the bearings in there. So you want those popping out everywhere. So I mean, on that, you just kind of work your way up. Take everything. You need. Pretty much for most bikes, you can take everything apart with about six tools max, if that. Okay. You know, you generally need 15 to take off the wheels. You know, a six millimeter for stem. You know, maybe an eight for the cranks, and then depending on what kind of bottom bracket it is, you know, different bottom bracket tools. Mm -hmm. So with that bottom bracket, it's gonna take this kind of bottom bracket tool. Let me see. So you take the bearing out. Okay. Because, you know, there's multiple different kinds of bottom bracket tools, you know, okay. how you're going to take them off. Okay. So, so what's the first tool that you use to take off the... So I use 15 socket, get that loose. So you know, you use a, socket. use a 5 millimeter, kind of loosen up the chain tensioners. Mm -hmm. So you can slide that forward. Now that that's forward, what you'll want to do is go ahead and release the brakes. So then you can take your wheel off, pop the wheel off. Set it to the side. Nice. And then, so the chain isn't rattling around while you're working, scratching stuff. Since we're taking it, we're gonna take the chain off. And what tool is that? Chain breaker. Chain breaker, guys. Chain breaker. And with that, there's always one rule when you're taking off a chain. Don't pop the pin all the way out, or it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. It's better to back off a little bit and see if you can, you know, pull it apart. But if you pop that pin all the way out, you can see the pins coming out. You can kind of feel it. Pop it off. Boom. Nice. And then you still have the pin set in there. So when you put it back on, all you gotta do is just reverse it right back in. Nice. So with the cranks, it's just six millimeter, depending on what kind of cranks you got. But it's just a pinch bolt. Pinch bolt. Take the pinch bolt and the main bolt, it'll pop right off. Nice. I can actually recycle those, huh? If I wanted to. Oh yeah. This, it's this a lot of cool it, it, it baffles me when I when I came back. Yeah. You know, I just started riding again about a year ago. Mm -hmm. How many of these kids don't know how to do the simplest things, like just even brake adjustments yeah. and stuff. I'm like, when we were younger, that was one of the things we always did. We broke down everything. Yeah. All the time. We'd go through our bikes, break down, learn how to this, do that. Yeah. And we all there was bike shops we could hang out too. Yeah. You know, we'd hang out at the bike shops all day and watch you know race videos tr all the transit videos yeah and you just learn and then eventually you know when you're like 16 17 you start just end up working there yeah adults and stuff like that so what tool did you just use so to take they have a, a lock ring so here's a lock ring a lock ring normally on one side of these kind of bottom brackets mm -hmm. and it's just like a little little hook wrench to to get it off but it was actually loose and i didn't need it no them is off. Now when you pull the forks, I'll normally grab the top. So that's the headset part, right? Yep, so I'll grab the top bearing of the headset, let the bottom drop, and then pop, keep that together. Gotcha. So I think that's the only thing. A lot of times with these internal routing, I like it. Uh-huh. 
because your brake cable isn't exposed out. I do like it, but sometimes there's such a pain, of, a pain to pain fish butt. through. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've kind of got my own way that I've kind of figured out to do it without getting the actual tool from Park Tool, which is like a magnet that you kind of fish through, but I just stick a small Allen key, like a two millimeter, mm -hmm. and I just kind of brace it into the frame like that. So as the cable's coming, it can't go back up in this area. It has to go down into the hole. So you kind of use the, uh, kind of using it as a guide as you kind of sit it in there. And that's just something I kind of figured out kind of doing messing, trying to get these around. internal routing yeah. without buying the park tool kit. That's like a little thing drop tube and it's got like a magnet that you pull it through, which I should probably buy because it would make life easier, but this way isn't too bad. It, it works. Nice. <laughs> it works. It works, man. Hey man, everything is what works for you sometimes, man. I mean, you know, it just depends, but that's pretty much a full breakdown. So yeah. He got my frame down. Hey man, five tools. And let's name the five tools again. One. Remember us? We use a 15. 15. We use the five millimeter. Five millimeter. Six millimeter. Six millimeter. We use the bottom bracket tool, whatever that one is. Bottom bracket tool. Man, I guess we kind of use a hammer because the freaking stem was on there pretty yeah. hard. I had to hammer. use the hammer to get that stem off. And then, I mean, I had to use a two and a half just to get the uh, the grips off. But that's it. I mean, you don't need many tools to break down a bike. There isn't, the only difference is, is what kind of bottom bracket you're gonna have. Yeah. You know, whether it's this tool, that tool, you know, that tool, what kind of bottom bracket you have. It, it, it really does not Other than that, everything else is either gonna be a five millimeter, six millimeter. Some cranks need an eight millimeter. Yeah. But that's about it. A 15, you know, most and you know most tires like mine, you don't even need a 15. It's just a, an eight millimeter. Nice. So everything's easy. It's just a bike. Yeah. So that's that. That ends the production. You hooked me up today. Like I said, Always, at, at Grimm's Bike Repair, right? Yep. At Grimm's Bike Repair on Instagram. The link is going to be there, right? If you haven't yet, subscribe to J Fly. Hey. Click right now, like, share, comment, 